Throughout the Pokemon anime, Ash Ketchum has traveled multiple different regions and participated in their respective Pokemon leagues. In order to do that, he also had to do a series of gym battles for each region, and boy has he done a ton of them. He's had so many in fact that I thought it would be fun to rewatch them all and review every Ash Ketchum gym battle in 10 words or less. Now keep in mind that I'm reviewing the individual battles, not the episodes they take place in. The scores will range from 10 to negative 10, with 10 being the best and negative 10 not really meaning the worst, but more like it's so bad that you'll get ironic enjoyment from them. So essentially, the closer it is to zero, the worse it actually is. Also, keep in mind that if Ash loses, it doesn't necessarily mean that the battle will receive a bad score. It's totally possible that a battle he does lose is in fact good and entertaining because it serves as a learning experience for Ash that'll pay off in the rematch. While on the other hand, it's also totally possible that a battle he wins is complete trash. This style of review was created by Jello Apocalypse, so shoutouts to him. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, first gym battle. Don't choke. Literally. Use the sprinklers! Gosh, why didn't I think of that? Seriously though, this would have been easier if Ash used Pikachu. That moment when your older brother beats you up. Took three gyms, but Ash finally won a legit battle. Abracadabra, turn Abra to Kadabra. Ash wins by making Kadabra laugh. Okay. Ash wins by saving Gloom from a fire? What? Okay, finally, another legit win. Pretty forgettable though. Aim for the horn? What logic is this? Charizard is a badass. Yeah, Giovanni would have been too OP for Ash. Not an actual gym battle, but pretty neat, I guess. Still not a gym battle. Poke shipping saves the day. Sorta. Teamwork makes the dream work, except they didn't do much. Decent challenge considering Ash has more experience now. Oh, so Ash can win without Charizard. This Whitney girl isn't so bad. Oh my god! Awesome strategy. Ha! Take that, you stupid mill tank. Noctowl's shining moment. Get it? Because it's a shiny? The female Bailey violently body slams the masculine Machoke. The one where Cyndaquil should have evolved. Thunderbolt shouldn't work on Piloswine. Just saying. Getting wrecked but cut short. Charizard is still a badass. Top 8 in Johto? Ha! I don't think so. Use a grass type with no grass type moves. Genius! Ash was kind of an ass. He deserved to lose. Cool, calm, and collected. That's the way to win, dude. Hilarious. This was more about teaching Flannery. Torkoal got knocked out by a thunder wave. You suck. So when was Slacking's true ability gonna kick in? Who are you? I'm you, but shinier. Thunder armor? More like plot armor, am I right? Too long for a gym battle. Too complicated as well. Pikachu loses to Onyx? Huh, deja vu. Dawn's strategy steals the show. I like turtles. Nice to see Apom get a win. Wow, the Pokemon anime actually feels like an anime. A little too easy. Really takes away from the hype. Good night. Counter shield for the win. I love defense! It's Pokemon on, on ice. ice! Does this really count? They stop because of Team Rocket. Infernate Master Super Saiyan Berserk. Obviously the worst out of the strikes and gym leaders. Pikachu lost to a water type? What the f- There's really no way he should have won. Is it me or does Ash really suck in Unova? Cool to see some new moves paying off. Typical Ash, using a bug in a bug type gym. Ash is dumb. Okay, Ash is getting really lucky with these evolutions. On Pheasant's first and only moment to shine. Krokorok's pretty good. Almost better than Pig Knight. You don't think... Who would have thought that the Garbodor Trainer would be tough? Ice Battlefield? I thought this was a Bug-type gym. A more shipping saves the day. As it should. That Rock Tomb climb was pretty dope. Ash does not do well against Lucario's, huh? Oh god, it's getting worse! And thus, the Lucario curse has finally been lifted. Um, them grassies are pretty strong. A lot better than expected. And that animation, though. Silly Ash. You can't break Trick Room. Stunning choreography and visuals that give us an amazing battle. Nani? How could Satoshi Senpai lose? Behold, the true power of Ash Greninja. <laughs> and there you have it. Every Ash Ketchum Gym battle until the Sun and Moon series, cause 
Sun and Moon doesn't have any gym battles. Now it's time to go over my top and bottom five, not only to make your lives easier, but also because I really want to talk about them. So let's begin. Ash vs Rourke This battle really surprised me. I always remembered it was good, but not top 5 good. After his humiliating defeat against Rourke in front of Paul, Ash is back for a rematch with a new battle strategy he learned from Dawn, the Spin Dodge. This was awesome because we see all of Ash's Pokemon pull this off, Pikachu, Apom, and Turtwig. Even when Rourke finds a counter to this strategy, Ash still manages to make it work in the end. It's just really satisfying to see Ash win with a strategy that he sticks with until the very end. Ash vs Lenora Now I don't gotta say it, we all know it, Ash sucks in Unova, and this battle shows it. He has zero plan and is just kinda commanding his Pokemon for the sake of commanding them. Lenora easily takes control of the battle which in turn makes Ash look like a joke cause he does not know how to deal with her attacks. What's annoying though is that the move that throws Ash off and ruins his strategy, strategy? is Watchog's mean look. Apparently, Ash doesn't know what the move does, even though Conway used it against him in the Sinnoh League 21 episodes ago. It's funny though, cause when he's down to his last Pokemon, he tries to get all serious and says, Tepig, remember our training! Like, huh? What training? Stop trying to act like you prepared for this, cause you clearly didn't. Ash vs Blaine and Ash vs Claire. That's right, we have a tie for 4th best. The rematch between Ash and Claire was an awesome one. After getting wrecked the first time, Ash realized that he has to come up with a different plan to deal with Claire's dragon types. This time, he completely flips the switch by bringing back Snorlax and Charizard. I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Body start to drop, ay. Hit the floor. Honestly, a great way to finish off Ash's final Johto gym battle. And speaking of Charizard, of course I couldn't leave out his big battle against Blaine's Magmar. This battle is one of the most iconic in the whole series because it's really the first time we get to see Charizard throw down. This was back in his disobedient days when he didn't want to do anything, so seeing him finally get serious and show off his true power was awesome as heck. Ash vs Erica. This was… a battle. I mean, it's pretty average for a gym battle, I guess. Ash was alright until Gloom came out with its stinky fumes, which apparently make Pokemon faint? Okay, but then all of a sudden the battle gets interrupted by Team Rocket, who decides to blow up the gym in order to get Erica's secret perfume. A little extreme there, guys. At this point, I would have given the battle a pass because they got interrupted, so that's not fair. They could continue or try again. But nope, Erica decides to give Ash the gym badge just because he saved Gloom from the fire. What? Yeah, this was bad. Ash vs Maylene Oh my god, I love this battle. The beginning is actually pretty average, but what really brings this to the top is the final matchup between Lucario and Buizel. This was super intense and fast paced, and we even got some great moments from it. The head to head collision between Lucario and Buizel, Buizel learning Water Pulse, an Aurasphere and Water Pulse clash that literally blew the roof off the gym. But wait, there's more! We also got to see Buizel's Swift Swim ability kick in and even got a Water Pulse and Spin Aqua Jet combination. It was insane. On top of all that, we even got music from the 8th Pokemon movie playing, which has one of the best movie soundtracks in my opinion. Call me crazy, but I believe this was the battle that changed the Pokemon anime forever. This was really one of the first times we got a fast paced head to head Pokemon battle like the ones we see today, so that makes this one truly special. Ash vs Brock Alright, this one is just sad. It's Ash's first gym battle ever, and it's over before he really gets to do anything. He sends Pikachu to face Onix, and right away it's caught thanks to its bind. Thundershock ain't doing anything, Ash can't return it, and Pikachu's suffering. So Ash gives up. And just like that, his first gym battle is over in, I kid you not, a minute and 35 seconds. I give this a negative one instead of a plain old one, cause you can almost laugh at how bad this is. Almost. Ash vs Clement didn't seem all that exciting to me at first, cause he's a big wimp. But the X and Y anime took care of this problem by making Clement leave the gang for a bit in order to be a stronger gym leader. And damn, does he show it! 
The reason this has the edge over Ash vs Maylene is because, unlike that battle, this one has non-stop action from start to finish. And that animation though, it's top-notch stuff, literally some of the best animation in the entirety of the Pokemon anime. Do yourself a favor and please re-watch this in Japanese, it's way better than the English dub. Ash vs Cress Now people say I'm a little too harsh on the black and white anime, but it does it to itself man. Here we have Ash taking on Cress with Pikachu, which is actually a good call, but then it loses to the water guy who uses Panpour. You shitting me? Everyone always talks about how Pikachu lost to a Snivy, but I never hear enough people talk about how Pikachu lost to a freaking Panpour. That's it, that's all I gotta say. There should be no excuse for Pikachu to lose here. No Zekrom nerfing this time. Pikachu lost cause Ash sucks in Unova. Plain and simple. Here it is, the best of the best. Ash vs Olympia. From beginning to end, this battle blows you away with its visuals. The whole space aesthetic Olympia's gym has makes the battle a treat to watch thanks to the use of the 3D camera background. But it's not just that. The fact that it was a double battle made it even better cause it allowed Ash to come up with some awesome combinations that we wouldn't get from a plain old single battle. This is what Ash vs Tay and Liza was supposed to be. The icing on the cake had to be Ash and Frogadier's father and son Kamehameha moment. And then Olympia even sees a glimpse of Ash Greninja. That was super epic. Ash vs Elisa What makes this the worst is how dumb they make Ash here. His strategy was to take on Elisa with just Palpatode, and it seems to be working well until Palpatode is taken out. That's when this battle's ugliness really starts to show. Cause then, Ash ends up running out of the gym battle to transfer over Snivy just to use its attract. And when that fails, he gets screwed cause he forgot that Emolga was part flying type, even though Iris has one. He seems so stupid here that it's just frustrating to watch. Even Pikachu gets pissed off at him. The final showdown has Elisa using her strongest Pokemon, which turns out to be a teeny Tynamo, but apparently Ash was struggling with that too. He wins this battle in the end though, but at what cost? My sanity? At least the battle with Crest is quick, it's like a bandit, you rip it off, get it over with. <laughs> but this? This was a chore to get through. I legit had to take a break from watching gym battles after this one. You wanna know why people hate the black and white series so much? Just watch this gym battle and you'll have your answer. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this style of review, then check out the first one I made on every Pokemon owned by Ash. And if you're into reviews in general, may I recommend my review of the Indigo League? Last but not least, make sure to live your life to the fullest, and I'll see you all next time.